In this video, we will be creating our sheet metal marking gauge. I'm starting with a piece of 20 gauge mild steel. I'm going to be using my schematic to draw out my marking gauge from my original drawing onto my sheet metal. Again, our overall measurements are three inches by four inches. I'm going to start by putting a couple reference points at four inches. And then a couple reference points at three inches. and creating those reference lines. With our metal, I want to cut the vertical line first on the shear. This will leave only a small amount of waste and still allow me to have a larger portion left for a different project. If I were to cut the horizontal line first, I would be wasting much more material to get my four by three inch piece. And using the squaring shear, I will cut that down to size. And just like we did on the cardstock, we are going to lay out each of the corners onto our sheet metal. I'll start with my 3 fourths inch measurement, creating a few reference lines. Measuring up 3 fourths of an inch and connecting that back to the corner. I will continue that for each of the different corner measurements. After all of my corners are laid out, I am ready to use the aviation snips to cut out my corners. At this point, we have cut out the corners using our aviation snips, and we are left with a little bit of deformation of the metal. With safety glasses on, I'm going to use a ball peen hammer to gently conform that material back to a flat position. Using a piece of scrap metal, I'm going to score a mark using each corner of my sheet metal marking gauge. I am then going to use a steel rule to check my measurements. Here I can see that my quarter inch measurement is slightly small. My 3 8 inch measurement is pretty much right on. My half inch measurement is slightly big and my 3 quarter inch measurement is slightly small. Because my quarter inch measurement was slightly small, I'm going to use the aviation snips to remove a very, very tiny amount 
to make that larger. My half inch measurement was slightly too big, so I'm going to place my marking gauge in the bench vise. And with safety glasses and a ball peen hammer, I'm going to ever so slightly bring that corner down. Again, we are only going a very small amount. My three quarter inch measurement was slightly too small. So again, I'm going to remove just a very small portion to widen that up. And I will continue in that same procedure until all of my marks are right on. Next, I'm going to mark each corner And then using the anvil portion of the vise with a ball peen hammer and safety glasses, we're going to stamp our initials in the marking gauge.